slide, uh, I actually uh, want to all of you to basically look and understand, think about, let's assume that you uh, take an example that uh, think about any most respected, for example, most respected brand for a mobile company. And then also you think about a most profitable brand for a mobile company. Similarly, you think about the most sustainable brand for a mobile company. If you see in all these thing, three things, I assume that more often than not, people will actually think about a product like, like Apple. So what exactly is there in Apple uh, which makes it very respected, profitable, and sustainable? The thing here is that they have maintain quality to the hilt. They have tried to have that mindset there uh, so that it actually meets the customer uh, customer uh, you know uh, requirements. I just want to uh, also highlight that if you just switch that and then you know if you think about in terms of uh, you know creating example for example then all these three things will definitely hold true for uh, someone like Mr. Tendulkar who actually is respected, profitable, sustainable but then you have to think about that what these guys, these things have in common. Why are this is so sustainable? And then you know why they are so you know uh, they can exist for such a long time. The the main thing which we have to understand here is that uh, they are they are following a certain quality standards. And this could be even true for you as a developer, as a potential person who actually develops applications that you can be a most respected developer. You can be most profitable and sustainable developer, but then do not. So you have to think about that quality mindset. So in these two slides, we actually talked about uh, until then we have talked about what exactly is code quality, what exactly is quality, or the different perspectives. Then uh, why is quality important? But let's now uh, get our focus back to the software world wherein we have to uh, understand that what are the different perspectives of code quality or software quality. I have listed here some six or seven different attributes of a good code. Uh, so it has to be an efficient code, it has to be a stable code, a maintainable code, extensible, testable, and readability. So these are, uh, and you can go and check, so I have provided a link here which says that there is a standard for uh, for code quality attributes, it's called 9126. You go and check there. So this whole definition of code quality and then what software quality is all about. But how do we how do we deal about it? How do we actually uh, you know think from from here on to 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 the ground level where we say that you know when we write classes and we write methods, that how do we keep all these things in mind? So the next slides or the whole framework which we'll be talking about, it will be about how exactly we can do that. In this slide, I am. I actually want to uh, highlight one thing that, uh, and most of the developers or, or the project managers who are already attending this, they would agree with me that if quality is not managed, then something, some uh, something goes wrong, and then you know your code actually starts having a delta from the state which it should be, and this term is called technical debt, uh, which actually you know comes while you are uh, trying to do things which are quick and dirty and uh, which results into technical debt. Uh, more often than not, technical debt eventually leads to the software being scrapped and eventually dying. And this is the biggest problem which we have to sort out and that's how this, these frameworks can be useful. Challenges. So we talked about what are the, what is a good code, what 